r slash ask reddit, what's something everybody likes, but you secretly hate? How does America's Got Talent possibly have that many viewers? That show is fake, manufactured garbage. Look at this unusual person, what are they even doing here? Hahaha <laughs> so ridiculous. Wait, are they singing? At this singing show? Oh god this is beautiful. And then tears and millions of views on YouTube. This man is a clown. And he doesn't speak. And he sings a a a a a a a a a This is a 9 year old girl. She's shy. And she sings a a a a a a a a a a a This is a band. And they sing. Yawn. Next. Beyonce. I don't hate her. She's got some catchy tunes. But I don't understand the godlike tier that she's been placed on by seemingly the entire world. I think her fans made me dislike her music. I don't hate her but her fans are super annoying. LOL at singing at the Grammys while being pregnant being absurd. I know women working 12 hours shifts in the hospital while 9 months pregnant. She sang for 4 minutes. Remember to sort by controversial to see real opinions. IKR. When I was first scrolling through, I was like none of these opinions are unpopular. Then I realized. First bunch of results were basically reality TV shows. Like the most commonly hated on thing. The Walking Dead. It's a snoozer to me. I feel like even fans of the show. Or perhaps most especially the fans. Hate TWD these days. Yep. That's me. Every week I say to myself Jesus Christ. This show is ducking ridiculous. Why do I still watch it? The acting is terrible. The plot lines are just ducking unbelievable. The characters are all stupid and zombies appear out of nowhere to eat people even though you just have to walk briskly to get away from them. But I still watch that shit every week. People magazine and celebrity lives. I couldn't care less what random people are doing. They were great in a movie. Awesome. I can appreciate that they're good at their job. Still doesn't make me care what Jerry likes on his toast or what Susan was wearing to the party. Edit. Wow haha just finished making dinner and saw all of the notifications. I've never had a post blow up like this thanks for the gold. Are you telling me you aren't dying to hear about that time they had a bad hair day or went to the beach with a slight baby bump or picked a wedgie at the pool? Yes. I hate knowing anything about their real lives. More than don't care. I actively don't want to know. Unless they are evil. I want to know that so I don't watch or buy their shit. Going to bars clubs every single weekend. I understand once in a while it can be fun. But I know people who go to bars 2x a weekend and during the week too. They get shit faced every time and just post on snapchat about it. I don't really understand that. Both entertainment and money wise. Cocaine at home is the responsible route. I mean you'd probably spend about the same amount of money. $100 for coke and a night in. Or $100 spent on drinks and bar food. You decide. I'm so sick of hearing about Fortnite. Try working in a school. My mom teaches 7th and 8th graders. She said it's all they talk about. On the bright side she said it helps some quiet kids open up as everyone plays and typically the quiet kids are the best players. Edit. My top comment of all time by far is about middle schoolers and Fortnite. This game is taking over the world. I hate the sound that yodeling kid makes. That sound is called yodeling. Why is this the funniest thing I've read in the past month? Dancing with the stars. I call it dancing with the B-list and my mom and sister get so mad. B-list is honestly stretching it. So many barely has beans on that show. It's sad. You're right but why shit on them? I feel like less successful celebrities get too much shit for just trying to keep their career going. Any show with a laugh track. Including popular favorites like Friends and Big Bang Theory. If something is actually funny. I won't need a cue from a fake studio audience. Edit. Wow. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. I'm happy to know I'm not the only one with a low tolerance for laugh tracks. Interesting to learn even the modern shows feature live audiences. But I still hate the distraction. Friends was an actual studio audience. I attended an episode in season 9. I tried to make it a point to laugh when no one else did so I could watch the episode and be like that's me laughing. I guess it was edited out. I've always been curious to talk to someone who went to a taping of Friends. What was it like? What episode did you see? Raymond. But everybody loves Raymond. Everybody. 
Ray, Debra, why don't we ever have sex? Debra, rather I'll die. You never help me out with the kids. Ray, grown my parents are here. Mom, your brother is inadequate and Debra doesn't know how to do anything. Ray, can't argue with that. But why are you at my house? Why do people care about me and want to spend time with me? I just want to golf. Open bracket. Growing up my family loved that show. I did not. Fruit salad. Keep the fruit separated so that the flavors can shine individually. I don't like eating wrinkly grapes. Bruised bananas. And apple juice stained kiwi. Sometimes some jokester will add pineapple to the mix. Pineapple is the glitter of the fruit salad world. The taste just gets everywhere. I like fresh made fruit salad. It's so good. But yeah the premise stuff is just like a weird mush. Edit. Pre-made not premise. The wiggles are displeased. I don't enjoy battle royale games. Fortnite. Pub. H1Z1. Or any of them. I hate the game style and I'm hating that every single game is making their own version of it. Battle royale is this generation's open world RPG with crafting elements. I was gonna say Morpgan just realized I'm old. Most superhero TV shows. A great deal of viewers of Arrow totally agree with you. Viewers of Arrow Correction. Viewers of Felicity and Friends. Having kids. Everyone keeps telling me that I'll want a kid when I get married. I have no motherly instincts and do not want my own kids. They are just not for me. Stand your ground and prepare for lots of intrusive questions comments. Downright insults. Even. I lived through it and I'm finally too old to be pestered about it any longer. No regrets. Of course. You might change your mind and if so. That's fine. 2. What's funny is that I kind of bounce back and forth. I am a guy. Between wanting and not wanting them. But what usually makes me take a beeline towards not wanting then is hearing shit like oh you're only 27 you'll change your mind. Or blah 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 and then I had Brayden and everything made sense. Just stay out of my business. Why are you so concerned with who I blow loads in? Temperatures above 72 degrees Fahrenheit. It could be 55 degrees and cloudy every day and I'd call it paradise. Finally someone like me. Overcast and in the 50s is perfect. Twitter. To be fair I think a lot of Twitter users also hate Twitter. No one can develop as pure of a hatred for Twitter as the average Twitter user. Snapchat. Because I value my privacy. Don't care about the mundane shit that people do in their day to day lives. And don't care what other people think about mine. Fake nails. I mean yeah they're pretty but they're so annoying when you're trying to type on your phone. Opening a can or really anything for that matter. Why are long fake nails this amazing beauty standard? The key with fake nails, emo, is short acrylics or gels. I get fake nails because I bite my nails to high heaven and can't quit. I've tried the bad tasting polish, at home manicures, etc. The only thing that stops me is knowing that I paid $40 plus tip for my fingers not to look like I was buried alive. Dogs. Obama. The media and liberal leaning communities. Reddit. Only make it look like everybody likes Obama. He had an incredibly high approval rating except with nutcases. Go figure. Democrats. But I don't keep it a secret either. So. Cardi B's music. TBH. Relaxing. By which I mean going to a beach. Or fishing. Or whatever other relaxation activity that involves sitting around and doing nothing. I'm bored out of my skull in about 30 seconds. Give me a book. Or a game. Or whatever and I'll relax. Tell me to sit on a beach and I'll think the waves are pretty for a minute or two and after that I'll want something to do. The whole point is to read though. Go down to the beach by yourself with a book and read. Bliss. Incidentally, reading outside is one of those things everyone loves but I can't stand. Veterans. I feel they are fairly compensated for the work they provided. There's no need to endlessly thank them for their service. They have too many holidays and the closer to the old war generation dying off, the better. I think you should go fight in a war. Come back with PTSD. Struggle with addiction. Watch your friends kill themselves. Fight for employment and benefits and then re-read your comment. 
The only veterans I'm comfortable thanking for their service are World War II because they killed Nazis and even then that's only some of them. Grosses me out when I see proud Vietnam vets. Edit. Proud Vietnam vets you degenerates. I understand the draft. Taxes. Apparently, every time I post taxation is theft the downvotes rain upon it. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Anonymous freedom loving gilder. To be gilded for such a fundamental concept of liberty and freedom is confidence restoring. I love that you're being downvoted. You're probably sitting in a country right now that was founded on the hatred of taxes. Yet your comment will be downvoted by the same people who say support small businesses and shop local all while ironically never realizing those local mom and pop shops are hit the hardest with taxes and that's why giant conglomerates exist and mom and pop shops and startups don't. Taxes give us Walmarts in exchange for hardware stores and home goods stores on Main Street. Taxes make having your own business a rich people activity instead of a way to make a living. You need capital to start any entrepreneurial endeavor by getting licenses, permits and then taxes on the product, income etc. And that capital only comes from investors, status, connections, or your own wealth. Taxes keep a bunch of bureaucratic paper pushers employed who call themselves administrators to this that and the other thing. Be it function or cause just to move the money they collect. Money that could have been used more efficiently if the individual could just spend it as they wish. Economics 101 the market will balance itself. Taxation is theft. Big government is evil. Less is ducking. Fair. I mean for duck sakes we're on an app that only does business in San Francisco because they tax the duck out of everyone else but give major cuts to tech industries. Edit 1. Did. Did I just get gold? Holy duck. Thank you. Edit 2. Okay I'm done it's ducking Friday I'm not debating taxes with you bootlickers. Edit 3. Sigh. People hated taxes. Whether it was the way they were implemented or how they were spent it was a hatred of them. In part or in full. It still exists. People hated taxes then. People hate them now. We may not be parading around Boston Commons in feathers but we hate them. K. Capital K. I hate sand. It's coarse. Rough. Irritating and it gets everywhere. Despacito. Despise it too. Dogs. I don't want to let your dog out when you're gone. I don't want to play with your dog when I'm visiting you. Get that stinky mother ducker away from me. Who hurt you? Superhero movies. Honestly couldn't give a shit about the new Avengers movie. I was the same way until I started watching them. It's like cheesy pop music. It doesn't have a point. It's just fun. They do have a point though. What separates the MCU from other blockbusters is that they're character driven blockbusters. The characters develop and feel like real people. You can't say that about Jurassic World, Transformers, that movie where Rihanna fights aliens etc. Nice weather. I prefer an overcast day. Grey skies. Everything is covered in dew and a nice chill temperature. That's a nice day for me. Not clear skies and a blinding sun with warm temps. So gross. England Wales would be your paradise then. I hate the weather here it's so depressing. I'm not a fan of brand name clothes. I like good quality clothing but whoever's name is on it means nothing to me. I'll buy some cheap loafers but my wife has to have a Prada and Chanel bag. I don't get it. The office edit. Sorry for all the edits. A thank you very much for gold kind of person. Too much talking. I think this is the problem. Everyone feels the need to constantly talk and yet no one has anything to say. Ellen DeGeneres. She's a product of her times. She was a nice, safe, and funny face for the LGBTQ plus movement at a time when the movement needed one. Now she spouts safe 90s era comedy without the edginess of the moment behind her. Life. They said most like not hate. Dogs. I just hate how needy they are. I also feel that their love is not genuine. Considering that I have read they will attempt to give it to anything that cares for them. Even machines. Just my opinion though. I understand that many people truly care for their dogs. Dogs are stupid and that's the short of it. A dog showing a machine affection is not because the affection is not real it's because the dog does not know better. The show friends. I just can't find it funny like everyone else does. Carrie Fisher. Overrated. Lame actress. I despise her. 
pretty much all music, except classical and old jazz. Edit. Seeing as so many people are interested in why I only like these two genres and a great deal more see fit to call me a pretentious douche, I'll add a little context. I used to love most subgenres of rock and roll, punk and metal, classic rock and oldies, etc. I even liked early rap and gangsta rap. Eventually, it all started sounding the same. I got tired of it. Classical and jazz are interesting and less predictable to my untrained ear than pop music. Rock is dead. Rap is stagnating and quickly heading in the same direction. Most EDM is obnoxious noise. R slash I am Varismit. Rap music. It takes little talent. Little practice. Is considered sexist. Portrays money and sex as the ultimate goals. And endorses violence. And somehow everyone, including SJW friends, loves it. Yeah but there's that one rapper who does not do that. MMHMM. Anyways remember to sort by controversial in these threads. Edit. This blew up. Kinda expected that it might since I made fun of what a lot of people like or build their life around. Harry Potter everything. The books are awful. The films are unwatchable. JKR flat out stole the story from Ursula Le Guin. Dumbed it down. Removed any intelligent subtext. Dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign profit. Open bracket. Edit. Overview. JKR stole the Harry Potter concept from the Wizard of Earthsea cycle. A fantasy series started in the 1968. Ripped straight from wiki the story is set in the fictional archipelago of Earthsea and centers around a young mage named Ged. Born in a village on the island of Gaunt. He displays great power while still a boy and joins the school of wizardry, where his prickly nature drives him into conflict with one of his fellows. During a magical duel, Ged's spell goes awry and releases a shadow creature that attacks him. The novel follows his journey as he seeks to be free of the creature. Quote from Le Guin she could have at least said thanks one is literature written by an anthropologist with themes, subtext and ideas, what is in a name, how do we come to terms with dying. The Earthseer cycle is also beautifully written prose. Harry Potter is like the McDonald's of books and hard to read, ugly, purling the same cheap trick over and over, quirky detailed explanations of nonsense characters or monsters, childish and weak character names, the films, do you like the awful child acting, terrible plot, the mass market approach, or the fact that they made the same film 5 or 6 times over? Frosting. I used to tell people I was allergic until someone called me out on it. It's just sugar. It's gonna be a pass from me. I'm good on that. Not a fan of frosting. Just don't like it. Man shrugging. Edit. This confession is my highest upvoted comment ever. Thanks reddit. You shouldn't lie about being allergic agreed. Frosting is terrible. You shouldn't lie about being allergic. See, just read a very frightening thread on here about people who got slipped allergens by others who assumed they were lying. Yikes. Weddings. I guess. I mean. Get married. Sure. But a big traditional wedding is just such a waste of money. Casinos. I see the fun in them but honestly the casinos want you to lose. I get nothing out of putting 10 in a machine and nothing coming out. Bruh, I hate the city. I don't give a shit about bars or shows or parties. It's just traffic and annoying crowds. I don't understand why everyone is tripping over each other to pay $2.000 a month to live in a closet. Job opportunity. Field specific but I'm chances of IT jobs out in the country is pretty slim. Variety. There are more variety of restaurants and choices of stores. Different activities as well. Convenience. You can generally find 95% of what you need within 10 blocks of your home. No traffic. Just walk. Or take the bus. Speaking of. Bars. Shows and traffic surprisingly. That's my issue with small towns. You can't get anywhere unless you have a car. In the city you have a choice of transit. Trains. Bike. Technically. I can't ride. Or simply walk. As for bars. Everything else is closed at 5 p.m. Shops, grocery stores, banks, etc. Go to take time off of work to do those in the weekdays or take time in the weekend but there's always bars after work. Vegan food who wants a meal without meat? Get out of here. Africa. 
Toto. That song is such ducking garbage for so many reasons. But everyone is always riding its dong like it's the greatest thing ever made. That and anything everything by Journey. Their shit. Edit. Since it seems like every single thing I hate is musical. I'm gonna ride this on. Female artists who talk and act like they're all about empowerment. But literally only ever sing about men. Getting their heart broken. Getting cheated on. Or other relationship drama. Celebrity culture. They are just normal people with extra makeup and with enough spare time to go to the gym regularly. Seriously. What makes them any better than the people I see walking down the street? At my age. There's nothing I secretly hate anymore. Now get the duck off my lawn. 99% of pop music. It's like there's no art in it. Most of it is just a generic 5s beat repeated over and over again. With someone singing a monologue slash 5 words repeated. Yet. It seems to make millions of dollars every week. How to write a hit pop song. Be a girl with a voice that you can sort of make out. But sound like a mumbling chipmunk in the end have a really easy to remember title. More than 2 words is a no no have a really catchy hook. Preferably one that repeats the name of the song over again verse hook verse hook appearance from random rapper. This can be replaced with mumbling chipmunk noises on the radio version repeat the hook over and over again. With input from random rapper make lots and lots of money for record execs tips. Your random rapper can announce who he is at the beginning of the song. This will let fans know who he is. In case they were not aware singing in a faux Jamaican accent will make you more money the more writers and producers. The better. The liberals of reddit. Drinking. It's a great way to socialize and catch up. But man. Why is it in most western cultures? We need to have alcohol as the standard way of socializing. I still do it because socially. It is the expected way. But man do I. Secretly. Hate drinking. Edit 1 it has been commented that this isn't an exclusive western behavior. It could be further argued that, western countries may be more tame as compared to other countries. https colon slash slash, en, wikipedia, org wiki list of countries by beer consumption per capita, edit 2 oh boy, now we need to define western, the way I am using this term is strictly to describe Canada and USA, if that is not the most politically correct term to describe it, please don't kill me for it, so it does not include European which, as per the wiki, has a very high consumption per capita. Canada and USA are quite a bit lower than what I was expecting. So I made the edit one above. The office. Painfully unfunny. Edit. Holy crap. My first reddit gold. Thank you reddit stranger. Dogs. Sorry. Ducking sob stories on r slash pics this is my grandfather he is a 200 year old autistic grandpa he beats dong cancer. Seinfeld edit, what a lot of comments. I was referring to the show in particular rather than the individual. I don't think he is particularly good as a comedian but I don't hate him. Just not my cup of tea. Although I do like some of the episodes of comedians in cars getting coffee. YouTube vloggers. They are just trying to flex their cash and how their life is better than ours. Stupid. New Year's Eve, weddings. 21 STS. Any event where there's an expectation that everyone is going to have a great time. Like, you will be in the mood to party and you will have fun. Duck you. I'm tired and just wanna watch TV and stay in. I'm not good with plans. Soft shell tacos. Large crowds. I've never, ever liked large crowds. Not in classrooms, concerts, parties, anything. I just want a few people. Like 3-7 maximum. More people makes me uneasy. Edit. To clarify, I mean to say that most people love going to concerts and other activities where there is generally a large crowd. Maybe not for the large crowd but for the event happening. For me, I can't go to that event because of the crowd. Pokemon Go was pretty whack when it came out. Still have some adult friends that play that shit. It was particularly bad in the beginning when people were all it's a good excuse to go outside. Do they not realize that there is an entire real world full of real animals that are infinitely more fascinating than those stupid ducking cartoons? Also not a big fan of video games. Kinda strike me as a waste of time. Video games. I've tried playing them at friends houses, but just find them boring. Now if there are any positives to global warming, 
It's no more duckings now at it. Please don't try to be the 800th person to explain climate change to me. Who rather than what? Robin Williams. I don't know if it's just because he died but whereas people on reddit seems to absolutely ducking love Robin Williams I never cared for him. He seemed like a very annoying person on chat shows. I didn't find him funny, just tiresome. Pizza. It's mainly the sauce. And I could possibly order without it. But a. Just not a fan. I really despise how the mass media collectively decides what is and isn't okay for people. Schools. Governments. ETC to be doing thing. As a journalism major who has studied some communication. These widespread internet campaigns for what the collective mass deems acceptable is scarily turning into a groupthink epidemic. A good recent example is the Kanye Trump controversy. Look what happens when someone doesn't adhere to the group ideology. All Kanye said was that Trump is a human too and that he has love for all humans. But the collective has labeled Trump a fascist, racist, misogynistic, and idiotic dictator so Kanye is clearly mentally ill being whitewashed. Truly scary how quick the collective can turn on someone for saying something as simple as having love for everyone despite their flaws. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.